Welcome to today's lesson. So in today's lesson, we are going to talk about KLR decomposition in numerical analysis. So we use a KLR decomposition method to factorize an M by N matrix, that means a rectangular matrix, into a product of KL, which is also M by N. So our KL has the same dimension as our original matrix A and R, which is N by N. So that means R is a square matrix. So our KL is always an orthogonal matrix and our R is an upper triangular matrix. And the columns of our KL matrix here are orthogonal to each other. So for instance, when you have A to be a 4 by 3 matrix, that means our KL is also going to be 4 by 3 and our R is N by N, a square matrix, so that will be 3 by 3. So you realize that even with matrix matrix multiplication, our Q here is 4 by 3. Our uh, R is 3 by 3. So, when multiply these two matrices, we get A, which is 4 by 3. I hope we get the illustration here. So, note that even though we can use other approaches to find our orthogonal matrix scale, we mostly use the Gram Schmidt orthogonalization process. So, remember that A is factorized into a product of Q and R, where Q is the orthogonal matrix and R is an upper triangular matrix. So, that means that already in the question we have an E. If you're able to get like our kill, then we can easily find our R. So mostly it's getting a kill, it's a bit of a work, and we use an orthogonalization process to do that. And in this case, you're going to use a gram schmidt. So let's go through, through the process. So let's then be a vector space with an inner product. Suppose, so we suppose these are bases for V. Then we let V1 to be X1, and our V2 is equal to X2 minus the inner product or dot product of x2 v1 all over the dot product of v1 v1 times v1 and there's a method of finding for v3 up to vn so so simple and go through so then our v1 v2 up to vn is an orthogonal basis for v all right so how to get our r that's our upper triangular matrix so you realize that we said A is equal to here R, so that means that to get R, we multiply, we pre-multiply both sides by Q inverse, right? So when we do that, we are going to have Q inverse A equal to Q inverse Q R, and this gives us the identity element. So that means we have R equal to Q inverse A. So that's what we have here. But since Q is an orthogonal matrix, it implies that Q inverse is the same as Q transpose. So hence, our R is given by the formula Q transpose A. So let's take an example. So an example, we are supposed to factorize this particular um, matrix we have here um, using the QR decomposition. So you realize that with this particular matrix that we have here, the dimension of it, it has three rules and two columns so it is three by two so that means that our since our a is three by two our k is also going to be three by two and our r will be two by two so even without solving the question we know the dimension for our kills and our r so you see that since this has two columns so there's the first column and there's the second column so let's name the first column S1 and the second column S2. So that means we have X1 to be equal to 2, 2, 1, and S2 to be equal to 3, 4, 1. Alright, so we said V1 is equal to X1 from the Gram Schmidt orthogonalization process. So that means we have V1 is equal to X1. So to find and our um, orthogonal matrix is giving us V1 by V2 bar. And our V1 is equal to X1. So that means that our um, V1 is equal to 2, 2, 1 transpose. So you realize that since V1 is equal to V1 over the magnitude of V, the norm of V, then that means you have to find for the norm of V. So when you find for the norm of V1, you have 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, always to the power half, which gives us 3. So that means that our V1 bar will be equal to 1 over 3 times this particular column vector here. And we get this column vector here. So that's our V1 bar. To get our V2, our V2 is equal to X2 minus the inner product of V1, X2, all over the inner product of V1, V1 times V1. So, 
remember v1 and x2 can be found up there so the dot product of our v1 and x2 will give us 15 that of v1 and v1 gives us 9 so when you put everything inside the relation here that means you get our v2 to be this here minus this year times this year and um simplification gives us this particular column vector here but we need to find our v2 bar so our v2 bar is giving us v2 bar, the norm of v2 so the norm of v2 here will be this particular thing that we have here and it gives us one so that means that our v2 is um unitary or you say unit vector so our v2 bar here will be equal to v2 which is giving us this particular column vector here so that means that we can form our kill matrix which is our orthogonal matrix so you see it is v1 bar and v2 so we get this we realize that it is 3 by 2 same dimension as our a matrix so now how to get our r to realize that a is equal to q r so we said our r is given by the formula r is equal to q transpose a so this is our the transpose of our q matrix here and this is our a from the original question to realize that here we have 2 by 3 and this we have 3 by 2 so when you do this matrix matrix multiplication you're supposed to get 2 by 2 so that's the reason why um we always get a square matrix when we are getting our upper triangular matrix so when you multiply these two you get this particular uh, matrix here which happens to be an upper triangular matrix because of this area here so that's it with the QR decomposition is so simple but sometimes when you are done you would like to verify your answers so to verify your answer make sure when you multiply your kill matrix by your L matrix it should give you the A from the question if not then that means there might be an issue somewhere so you have to look for it to address it so you realize that when you multiply Q by R from our um, answers we get this particular matrix here which happens to be our A so that means everything is on point so there is a trial work here. I think it will be so helpful to you to try this. It will help you to get um, a deep understanding of the um, subject. So, thank you very much.